as we start to delve into this whole idea of the, the way cells divide, let's just do a quick review of the cell cycle and make sure you know where we're going and where we've been. Remember that, that generally speaking, a cell doesn't spend much time dividing at all. It spends about 10% of its life. Some cells, in fact, never divide. And we'll talk about, actually, yeah, we'll talk about that later. Um, but the bottom line is, here, G1, is where most of your cell's activities are going to occur. Then the cell starts to get ready for replication. It grows a little bit more in G2, the G standing for gap, but we want to spend our time right now in this section right here. This section, which is going to be called mitosis and cytokinesis. Now, immediately, the vocabulary starts coming out like, like, like asteroids out of the sky, all right? And, and, and yes, biology does have a lot of vocabulary, and yes, the word mitosis is important, and the word cytokinesis is important, but I haven't even written them down yet. So am I a derelict in my teaching here? No, absolutely not. We're gonna use those words plenty. But what I want you to understand at this point is the cellular events that are going to happen right here in this, in this stage called mitosis. And I'm, then we're gonna talk about the events that happen in the cytokinesis stage. All of this stuff, the interphase, the, 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 the phase when the cell is not actively dividing, we've spent a lot of time and we'll spend a lot more time on that as we study cell physiology. But now we want to talk about right there that M phase. What's going to happen when a cell divides? Later, there'll be plenty of time for the names of the phases. But right now, let's see what happens. Okay. Well, let's quickly review what's up with chromosomes. What's a chromosome all about? Remember the chromosomes are about packing of DNA. You only pack DNA into a chromosome when you're going to do mitosis. Mitosis, better write that down. Sorry guys, vocabulary. Can't speak without vocabulary. All right, so, so in this mitotic division or in this mitosis, we're going to form chromosomes. And chromosomes end up looking like something like this. And, and let's talk about what makes something a chromosome. Well, remember, it's, 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 it, has its, it has its DNA, and its DNA is packed, and there's a structure on that chromosome. All of this would be one molecule of DNA all the way down, all the way down, all the way down, all the way down, all the way down. Yet in the center of the chromosome, there's this kind of pinched-in section, and that's called the centromere. And within the centromere is going to be a very important structure, okay? And we'll see why it's so important in a second. And that is going to be called the kinetochore within the centromere. The kinetochore. Kinetic energy. Starting to think it might have something to do with motion, right? Well, if you're thinking that, you're absolutely correct. All righty. So, so what... What mitosis is about, number one, is forming chromosomes. And just so I can show you, they, they really, you can form chromosomes in three different ways. The centromere doesn't always have to be in the center, okay? Um, this one in particular um, has its chromosome in the, cent in the center, but some can be off-center, and, and indeed, some can be at the very top of the chromosome. So anyway, we, these, these three chromosomes, th this metacentric chromosome, this acrocentric chromosome and this telocentric chromosome all have their centromeres in different places, but that's not as important as what's going to happen here. What's going to happen is going to evolve the kinetochore. Now, once again, I want you to think about the concept of mitosis rather than memorizing phases. What's your job? What's your goal? If these are the chromosomes in their doubled form, what is it you want to do with these chromosomes? If you're a cell, remember the purpose of mitosis, to form an identical copy. And therefore, your role is to get these chromosomes so that you have half of the, so that you, you can actually half them, because they're doubled, and then split them. That's all it is. We double, we split. We double, we split. We double, we split. That's all you do your whole life, okay, with your cells. Well, that doesn't sound so hard. And really, the whole idea of mitosis, phases aside, is more, the, more a, a, a concept of what happens in your, in your 
cells and your cytoskeleton and in your cytosol than what happens to your chromosomes because that's very important. I want to talk to you a little bit about how chromosomes move. There's the magic of mitosis, chromosomal movement.